today on... We gotta talk about Mr. T and his hand. Plus... Alderson is homeless. So we ran into Mr. T outside his classroom. I heard he injured his hand. Apparently Mr. T cut himself opening a bagel. We asked him about it. He wasn't too happy to see us. This guys, why are you waving that at my face, guys? Come on. Come on, why are you waving that at my face? Seriously. Seriously. What happened to your arm, sir? Uh, I cut myself. Maybe he'll get one of those robot hands like Luke Skywalker in The Empire Strikes Back. Bagel, man. What kind of bagel? What kind of bagel, sir? Why are you guys serious? What kind of bagel? Seriously. Plain sesame blueberry bagel, alright? Did you eat it afterwards? Did you still eat it? Uh, yes, I did. Thank you. How I was it? Go. Thanks, Mr. T. We know what you're getting for Christmas. It slices bagels safely. Oh, what joy and my surprise when I open up my eyes. We ran into Miss Camastro in the parking lot. Miss Camastro, she's she's the best. Class act all the way. She was in a rush, but she still stopped to talk to us. She's a big fan of the show. Yes, come on, okay, okay. Uh... We asked her what student in her mind deserves a lump of coal for Christmas. Jordan Figuera, he missed that last serve. Cost us a championship. Huge lump of coal. Is that all? Yes, that's wonderful. Miss. Have a nice day, Miss. Looking great. Looking great. Thanks, Miss Camastro. There's always next year. Thank you. Yeah. Happy birthday, Jesus! There's new questions. GGG! So, apparently Mr. Alderson's teaching in the woods now. I saw this. It's, it's a house made of sticks. Apparently the weight room is out there now. What student do you wish got a lump of coal for Christmas? I'm just here so I don't get fined. Next question. How's the hockey team doing? Next question. I think he's living out there now. I think he's homeless. <laughs> uh, hi, is it your new classroom? I heard you. Is that all the, the questions? I guess so, sir. Thank you. It's not a bad house. It just needs some decorating. I love Christmas. Woo! Oh, hey. I guess, uh, Good. How are you, teaching G, right? Yeah. So uh, we caught up with Mr. Hickey in the atrium. I'm a big fan of Mr. Hickey. You know, I had to grow this goatee because so many people were getting us confused. It's true. Nobody thinks that. Uh, yeah, well, we asked him, what's the weirdest Christmas gift he's ever gotten from a student? Weirdest gift? I haven't got a ton, but I got, uh, I got a mixtape one year. Mixtape? Yeah, it's a, a yeah, weird. yeah, it was weird. I had, like, nothing to do with Christmas either, actually. It was all like, watch the throne, oh, that's Kanye and Jay-Z stuff, so it was kind of random. But... Kanye, Jay-Z, Mr. Hickey. I guess I got my swagger back. Truth. Thanks, sir. Okay, keep up the good work, TGG. Love what you guys do. TGG presents Teachers in Christmas Special Roles. Oh, I know. Uh, Mr. Rebus Gonzalez and Mr. Finelli could be the villains from Home Alone. Sure, they look like they could be outsmarted by an eight year old. Oh, I got one. Mr. Boyle is Yukon Cornelius from Rudolph the Red Nose Ranger. A crazy prospector who befriends a reindeer? That sounds about right. Nothing. How about Mr. Hickey as Chris Kringle from Santa Claus is Coming to Town? Mr. Hickey got his swagger back. And soon you'll be walking across the floor. Miss Finn for Zoe Deschanel and Elf. That's actually pretty good. Well done, TGG. Baby, it's cold outside. We love Aquinas. We just have a funny way of showing it. Mr. Alderson lives in the woods. I'm a teacher. <laughs>